Hello friends, welcome to this session. Today we will see how you can build a Docker image and push it to JFrog Artifactory. In our last session, we have seen how you can connect to JFrog Artifactory using Azure service connections. And this session we will use those service connections to push an image into JFrog Artifactory. So let's get started. You can see here, this is my simple project, Go project. And here we have Azure pipelines.yaml and we'll go through this. So we'll edit this pipeline in pipelines for project edit. And as you can see this pipeline, it triggers on my main branch and it has got jobs, two jobs. One is for build and test where I'm running this particular pipeline on my self-hosted agent on my laptop. And once this build and test, everything is passed, it creates an artifact. And here in the second job, which is on build host, we are going to run it on my local host build agent and these are the two tasks which will create the build image so docker build and it will create image i will explain what exactly these parameters are and then we'll use artifactory docker task to push this particular image docker image into artifactory now if you want to add this so here on the right side if you type artifactory then you will get uh, different tasks supported by artifactory like build promotion collect and one of them is artifactory docker and here you can either push or pull so we'll use push artifactory service these are the service connections which we have created in last session and they are available for use there were two ways to connect to artifactory one is like basic authentication and another was token artifactory so we'll use basic auth artifactory now in case you want to know how to create these service connections uh, you can go and see my another video I will put the link for that video in the description there. Here we'll give Docker registry target uh, repository. I will show what values we have to give here and the image name which you want to push. So I'm not going to add this here because this is what exactly it will add here. Push artifactory service name. Now instead of providing those hardcoded values here, I have given these values inside these variables. So let me open these variables and you can see here it asks for artifactory service connection. So you can artifactory service connection we are given as basic auth minus artifactory and then target repo down here, target repository. So this is a repository hello world repo minus docker which is a docker repository and inside that we are creating a folder hello world and the image will be pushed inside this inside this folder image name and image tag so image name here uh, note here that i have given the link for my repository raviblog.jfrog.io and the repository name and slash the folder name where the image will be uploaded and image tag i'm just using the build number which is created by the build pipeline so these are the information here similarly the docker build task which you see here it requires container registry now i'm using artifactory to store my docker builds docker containers so docker registry service connection is a variable which i'm passing which is this one docker artifactory now in another video i have shown how you can create this type of service connection you can follow that so image repository here again this is a repository name in artifactory and the folder inside it and then command is build and the docker file so this docker file path will be in your project and the tags which i'm just using as a build number so these are the variables i just go back quickly and show you the docker file so this is the docker file and it's very simple it's just uh, using golang as a base image and then creating a work directory there copying the build project related files and folders inside it uh, and then building it and then making it available on port 8080 for execution so this is a docker file which will be executed now if we run this pipeline
So as you can see, the pipeline has run successfully. So we'll quickly go and check because the build which it has created just now is 23 August 2021.5. So we'll see in JFrog login. And under Artifactory, Artifacts, and I will go to the repository Hello World Record at Docker and then Hello World. And we expand that and scroll down and you see here. So that Docker image is uploaded here. I hope this session provides you information now how you can upload Docker container image to Artifactory. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you in next session.